Hey guys, Bill here. With 90% of the world's oceans still unexplored, we all know that. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? There are plenty of strange sea creatures out there. But what I'm about to show you is probably as weird as it gets. The video goes by the name of Weird Exploding Sea And it was sent in by Mark Bacone, 99 Strikes, and Boxy Trolley, just to name a few. The video shows a group of Japanese guys fishing at the ocean. At one point, they spot these strange looking creatures hanging onto the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the creatures scatter when the men approach to investigate, but they do manage to find one alone. The men poke at it, turn it over, even pour Coca Cola on it. But before they can figure out what it is, it vomits some kind of fluid on the men and then explodes. It ends. It stops. I love it. Now, as you can imagine, what everybody wants to know about this video is, is it just some sort of Japanese horror movie fake? Or is it real? Why don't we poke around and see what we can find out? As I started looking around, I realized this was not going to be easy. All my usual sources, such as Snopes, Hoaxbusters, and even Hoax Slayer, had absolutely no data at all on this odd little video. I turned my attention to the multiple copies of this thing posted on YouTube, but didn't get very far with that either. I even posted it on my Facebook to see if anyone recognized the creature. There were a few suggestions like possible sea pig slug, but nothing I could pin down for sure. Man, I have to tell you, this video is really frustrating. I mean, I was almost ready to give up when suddenly I remembered, hey, when the going gets tough at Bill's channel, the tough go to the AT. In this case, Brant Ryder, a Japanese media expert who spent many years working for Japanese television. All right, what you're looking at is a DVD that was sold in Japan called Uda Hora or Uda Horror. Uda means unofficial, behind the scenes uh, horror. In Japan, you know, there's like your traditional like horror film with like the music. And then there's this more like reality style horror, which could be real or fake. Thanks to Brent, who speaks Japanese, we were able to track down the whole series and find the full length version of this video. In this version, it starts out with a young disguised girl being interviewed. So what this girl is saying in English, it's hard to tell exactly what she's saying because her voice is disguised. But basically what she's saying is, we found this tape. It was shot by a relative of mine who died in a car accident. And we sent it around to all these TV channels, but none of them took it and none of them broadcast it. Okay, well that's a lot of information to process. But thanks to my friends on Facebook and our expert, I do have the answer right here. But first, let's recap what we learned so far. The video comes from a collection of so-called secret or untold horror stories. But the creators of the video claim what they recorded comes from real life. On the other hand, I couldn't find anyone who recognized the creature or could name it. But then again, over 90% of our oceans are unexplored and it could be something new. The video comes from a collection of so-called secret or untold horror stories. But the creators of the video claim what they recorded comes from real life. On the other hand, I couldn't find anyone who recognized the creature or could name it. But then again, over 90% of our oceans are unexplored and it could be something new. Now, based on everything I've been able to gather, I'm judging the exploding sea creature to be Real. First off, I don't think there's any creature that vomits on people like that. It doesn't make any sense biologically. 
And secondly, as Terry Woolhead pointed out on Facebook, when they flip the creature over, there are ligaments or any structures that would give it the ability to move as quickly as it does in the earlier scene. And finally, if you watch the explosion at the end, it's clearly computer generated. Okay, my thanks to everybody who sent that video in and to Brant for helping us out. And remember, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. See you next time.